Good morning, guys. It's Mandy. I thought I would come on here today and do a, um, a little change in chat. I have here in front of us little Elaine. And Elaine is a, um, she's a cuddle baby. She is the Darren Asleep Sculpt by Bountiful Baby. And she was reborn by um, Catherine Perry of Living Inspirations Nursery. She is a tiny little preemie cuddle baby. She is so sweet and so little. I absolutely love her. Um, I really, really like the way that... Um, Catherine Reborns. I love the way she does the hair. I like how the hair just sort of like swoops and follows over her little head. She is so cute. Um, so I thought today we would get her change. She's in her little Christmas outfits. And I've got another little outfit over here on standby. I've been slowly getting my babies out of their Christmas outfits because I'm ready to get them into, you know, some of the newer things that I've bought, like little sleepers and little onesies and leggings. And I love Christmas, but I honestly get kind of a little burnt out on the Christmas colors. So I am, yeah, I'm ready to get them changed. Okay, so I thought today that I could tell you the story of my last cat. Um, so my last cat is Odin, and he is the one that is the little orange, um, the little orange marmalade kitten. It's not really a kitten anymore. I think he's going to be a year old, um, maybe in January or February. He was a rescue, so I'm not entirely sure of um, what what age he actually is. He's not in here today because, as you guys probably know from watching other videos, he is very, very naughty. He is a very, very bad little kitty. <laughs> I love him, and I love the fact that he's naughty, but it... Um, sometimes can make it challenging, especially when I'm doing, uh, changing chats because he wants to attack everything. So, but you all know who Odin is. My, um, some of my babies get cat hair on them sometimes. It's just something that, you know, if you have cats, it's inescapable that you're going to have cat hair on your clothing. So before I put away baby clothes lately, I, um, I do a little, I do a little lint roller just to avoid all of the cat hair. Okay, so, oh, and, um, I am feeling better today. I'm not as fatigued. I also haven't done very much yet, <laughs> so we'll see if that changes later. Um, I do have to go to um to work I'm doing at noon so we'll see um how I feel <laughs> when I get off <laughs> hopefully I don't um hopefully I still feel okay so this is a little I think this is a preemie sized um onesie that she has on this is so okay so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave this on and I'm going to put a white onesie over this one. And the reason why I do that is um, my really tiny babies, it helps clothes fit them a little bit better if I have a couple layers on underneath. And she's really tiny and it's it's not always easy to find... This is one of my new white onesies that I bought yesterday. Came in a little three pack. This is newborn size. 
Um, when babies are really tiny, it's sometimes hard to get um, things to to fit them properly. And it's not always easy to find preemie clothes. I can sometimes find them at Once Upon a Child, but I kind of also had the thought that, you know, there's some mommies that really need preemie clothes for their for their actual little preemie babies, and they may not be able to afford to go to, you know, stores and buy new preemie clothing, and I just thought, I'm going to stop buying preemie clothing at um, Once Upon a Child, because I just wonder if I'm taking that away from a, um, a mommy of a human child who actually needs those preemie clothes really badly. So I might order some on Amazon. I don't feel bad about that, but, but I'm going to stop buying preemie clothing at Once Upon a Child. I'm still going to buy everything else there, but I'm not going to buy preemie clothes there anymore. So... Odin. He is in the background wailing his head off because he wants in my room. So Odin is our fourth cat and he is the cat that we never really intended to have. Um, so we got Harley from Sheila after it proved that she was allergic to cats and we thought that we were done with cats um, entirely. We thought we weren't going to have any more cats and three was enough. We didn't even really intend to have three. Well, one day I was at work. And um, I was um, looking at my Facebook. And I have the, uh, the Facebook of the shelter that we adopted Spikey from. Um, Spikey is our dog that passed away in 2018 from cancer. Um... That is, that's his paw print. Um, so we had adopted him from the Morgan County Humane Society here in Indiana. And I've kept their Facebook up because occasionally when I, um, when they do drives, I might bring, I might donate supplies or I usually just donate some money to them. Um, they're a really great organization, but so they had their Facebook up and back in, I would say April, they had made a post. Look at this cute little. This is a long sleeve onesie. It's newborn size. It's a child of mine. It's got little sloths and bunnies and elephants on it. It's really cute. Um, they had made a post about some cats that they had rescued from a hoarding situation. Um, and there was also some, um, there was neglect and abuse going on and they had rescued Oop, got that on backwards hold on baby girl nope i didn't have it on backwards mommy's just not paying attention um they had pulled three kittens from this uh situation that were really badly um injured let's do this a little bit differently let's go that way there we go they had rescued three kittens that had been um, really badly injured. Um, there was one male kitten and two female kittens. And um, one of the females had had a, a fractured leg and a fractured uh, hip. And I will say that all three of these kittens are fine now. They've been, um, you know, they've all received surgery and they've all gotten adopted. So don't, don't be too sad, um, thinking that maybe these kittens were put to sleep or they, you know, didn't recover. They all, all three of them, uh, recovered. So there was one that had some broken bones. There was another one who had, um... She had a really bad eye infection, but her eye was able to be saved. But then there was this little orange kitten. Um, and like I said, this was in April. There was this, and this was 2020. There was this little orange kitten who's, it, the photos that they shared of him were really graphic. I'm not going to tell you what the photos look like, but they were just really graphic. 
um, his eye could not be saved. It had to be removed. And they were asking for donations um, to help rehabilitate these three kittens. Because, you know, shelters don't have a lot of money when they have these situations where they have cats that come in that have been abused. They don't always have enough money to take care of all these cats and, and take care of their medical needs. But anyway, so they shared this little kitten. So I donated a little bit of money and then kind of forgot about it. They didn't post any more photos of this kitten. Um, then here's June. It's June 1st. My birthday is June 2nd. So it's June 1st. And um, I've got some little pink pants to put on her. So it's June 1st and I see this kitten. And um, it's him. It's the little orange kitten who had to have his eye taken out. And he's just gorgeous. He's about five months old. And, you know, there he is peering into the camera with this one little adorable eye. <laughs> and I fell instantly in love. And I messaged my husband. And I said, hey, I'm going to send you a Facebook listing of a cat that's up for adoption. And he was just kind of like, oh, what? <laughs> so I sent it to him. And he emails me back immediately. He says, oh my god, that's Odin. That's Odin. And it was like the name just popped instantly in his head. He instantly wanted this little cat. And um, let me turn you over, baby girl. Get this over your, your fat little booty. She's a very chubby little... So he said, message them. See if we can go meet him. So I messaged the shelter and they, I mean, within 10 minutes, they had, they had messaged his foster mom and she had, uh, emailed me and she said, would you like to come meet Blaze? And she said, they said that you're a previous adopter and that you're also, um, you know, you're, you're also a donator, you know, would you like to come meet Blaze? And I said, yeah. And she said, okay. She said, well, when can you come see him? Well, I was at work, um, and I couldn't come see him till the previous day. So I said, I can come see him tomorrow. And she said, okay, well then, um, come see him tomorrow. And so then she emailed me about an hour later and she said, hey, I've got a situation. We've got um, a family that can be here today that wants to see him. And she said, I really, really want you guys to have him because um, you guys are previous donators. And, you know, they told me the story about you and your dog that passed away. And she's like, I really, really want you to have him. Is there any way you can get here today before I agree to let these people come? And so I said, oh my gosh, let me see what I can do. So my husband was already off work. So I asked my boss. And my boss is amazing, as I've told you guys. And she was like, go. Go now. Go get your kitten. <laughs> so we drove an hour and a half <laughs> to southern Indiana to go see this kitten, and, um, she had told the other people, you know, she had said, hey, I've got someone coming now, so I'll let you know if they take him, and then, you know, if they don't take him, you can come and see him, um, so, <laughs> she's so cute, so we drove all the way down there, and, um, he, he was so stinking adorable, he was so cute. I had some mittens over here for her. Where did they go? I know I had some mittens set aside for her little outfit. I just have to find them. So, so we went and we saw him and it was just, oh my gosh. 
It was just instant love. <laughs> he leaped right into our arms. Oh, there they are. He leaped right into our arms and wanted attention, wanted love. And they told us, they said, now, just so you know, he's really rambunctious. He's got the personality of a golden retriever in a kitten body, <laughs> which I found hilarious. And uh, let me tell you, they were not lying. Um, he is, yeah, he's something else. So uh, we took him home and we changed his name to Odin. And that was back in June. So I think he'll be a year old next month. Um, he is, he was really scrawny when we brought him home. He wasn't doing so well. Um, well, it, it's not that he wasn't doing so well. It's just that he was among about 10 other kittens that were being fostered. So, you know, everybody has to kind of like battle it out for food and, and everything. You know, the foster mom was doing all she could, but, um, he absolutely... Ballooned under us. <laughs> he is so big now. Um, he is very, very big. And he's very, very fat. Um, he is absolutely adorable. And we love him so, so much. He is our... He is our... Um, he's probably our most... He's probably our cat that has the most personality... Um, I will always say that Zuli is my favorite. That's my black cat just because of his situation of how we found him as a stray and kind of nursed him back to health. Um, but, but Odin is definitely <laughs> very, very beloved. Let me put this down a little bit and maybe pull this out make it look kind of like a little shirt. There we go. Oh my goodness. Isn't she cute? I love Love, love, love cuddle babies. I absolutely adore cuddle babies. She's so cute. I don't have her on here nearly enough. She's so sweet. So, um, but yeah, that's the story of Odin. Um, so I will let you know, you probably... So let me give you an update on babies. Um... You may not see Nesta on here for a little bit. She's my little ruby awake cuddle baby. Um, she is, poor baby, one of her eyes just keeps falling out. And um, I've tried to fix it a couple times. Well, yesterday I, I clipped the zip tie. I took her head off. And this time I removed... Um, this time I removed all of the polyfill from her, and um, the artist hadn't had like a pantyhose in there holding the weight in. Um, it was just all stuffed behind the polyfill and um, sand. It wasn't glass, it was sand. Sand went everywhere, all over my room. Um, I vacuumed quite a bit in here last night. I vacuumed my whole bedspread and I think that I'm kind of wondering if the sand might be contributing to the eye coming out but the eye just keeps coming out so I pulled the eye out popped it back in and I think maybe they're the wrong size of eyes because within about 10 minutes the eye had slipped back down I mean this poor little baby looks like I mean, she looks like Mad Eye, Moody, Moody Eye from, I don't know his name, Harry Potter, the professor with the, the crazy eye. Um, that's what she looks like. And then um, her paint is coming off. Uh, I've had her less than a month and, um, and I'm just, you know, this baby right here is perfect. I'm just kind of showing you on her. Um the paint in both nostrils is gone and it's peeled all the way down each lip. And then she's got a streak right here where the paint's gone. And then underneath her little eye right here, and it's the bad eye that keeps popping out. 
I think that some of that sand has gotten out through that eye because the sand wasn't sealed in a in a package um you know in a pantyhose and um I think the sand is the reason why her paint has been peeling but all this right here is gone the paint is gone so she's just got these big white streaks on her face right here 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 and here and it just breaks my heart because I love 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 that sculpt I love that baby I love her grumpy little face so I've put Nesta away securely in a box for now um my plan is to eventually um maybe look for that sculpt again in a cuddle baby um there's a couple that are listed right now but honestly they're they're too expensive for uh, my budget for right now. Um, so my custom from Garden of Eden Nursery is almost done. Um, and that's what I'm saving my money for is that as soon as she's done, I am paying her off. She should be done within the next um, week or two. And then I'll pay her off. Um... And then I also have a baby that's going out in the mail today. And that baby is also from Garden of Eden Nursery. I love, if you haven't checked out her nursery, please, please look at her nursery. She has the most beautiful babies. She is who my Luke came from. Um, but she listed a little, um, a boo-boo baby. And um, that sweet little boo-boo baby is going to be my Leia. Um, because my, my commission that's coming from her, initially that baby was going to have dark hair. And then as soon as I saw, um, that, you know, that she had, she had lost her dad and, um, she wasn't able to work for quite a while. And I told her, I said, you know what? I said, let's just have that baby be bald. And that will just make things a lot easier for you. Because she has other babies that she's working on. And and um, and she said, you know, sure, we'll, we'll make her bald. Well, then she listed that little boo-boo baby who had the dark hair like I wanted my Leia to have. And she was, I think, only like $200. And I, I got her. So now I'll finally have my Leia. And then I will also have this absolutely beautiful commission baby that she made for me. Um, and then I really am, I think, <laughs> I think I have to be done at that point. I have, um, I have kind of dived headfirst into the Reborn world because I got into Reborns at the same time that I got this really, really big Christmas bonus <laughs> and I got a raise and I just, oh, I went a little overboard. I have, I, I think for my space that I have, I'm, I mean, I might eventually expand my nursery and maybe get more babies, but I have to have more space first. Um, but I also don't want to feel like all of my babies don't get loved on and get equal attention because I am a reborn, I kind of consider myself a reborn mommy and a reborn collector, um, you know, and, and some people are either or, some people are both. There's no wrong way to love your reborns, but, um, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of both. And, um, I don't want to have too many babies because then I can't, I can't, you know, I can't have that bonding time with all of them. Um, I would say that at this point, I'm bonded with almost all of my babies that I have. Um, which is why my, uh, which is why Nesta, my little Ruby awake, that's why that situation just breaks my heart because I, I, oh my gosh, it's killing me seeing her poor little face get messed up. But, you know, it's just, 
her artist is really young and I think she's new to reborning and you know it's it's after some thinking I just thought you know she was really reasonably priced and things like that are going to happen um after talking to um a friend of mine that's in the um the reborn group that I'm in on Facebook I decided not to actually pursue actually um having her repair the baby because I just don't want to I don't want to you know hurt her feelings or maybe you know cause some kind of drama so we're just gonna leave it at that anyway this video is stretched on way longer than I thought it would um so I will see everybody next time I hope you all are doing well I have absolutely enjoyed so much watching your guys's um Christmas videos uh we like I said in my last video we really didn't get to do Christmas because both of us were feeling so badly so out of caution we did not um we didn't really participate so um so it has really blessed me to see all of your guys's Christmas traditions and your beautiful trees and houses and how you've um done up your nurseries and everything it's just it's really fun this Christmas has felt more like Christmas than any other ones that I've had in the past in the last probably 10 years I think it's because of having the babies and having a reason to buy little Christmas things um next year I'm planning on having a lot more Christmassy things in um in um this um this bedroom that is my nursery so I don't span this out to I don't uh <laughs> I don't expand this out to the other um bedroom because I think my husband would kill me so <laughs> but this is kind of the room that is kind of like my little sanctuary so it's okay so anyway um, so there's little Elaine in her sweet little outfit. I think this is almost an all new outfit. Um, she is looking so, so adorable. <laughs> I just love her. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. And until then, take care, take care of each other and see you again. Bye.